Hi and welcome to a new video of HKP Tuning. My name is Phil and today we'll be installing this Musselman Turbo S55 thermostat in this BMW M3. This part is also available for the M54 and M55 engine. The install is slightly different on the M54 and M55 than on the S55. So I will be walking through um, every single step of the way on how to actually install this thermostat. It takes about 30 minutes or so to install it on our shop car, the Stormtrooper F80, which you may have seen already in the past March issue of Performance BMW magazine. All right, guys, so it will be actually a very simple thing to change the thermostat. All you have to do is get these covers off in order to take the brace off. So once we remove the covers, you have three 13 millimeter bolts that we will have to remove in order to get the brace off. There's one more screw on the water reservoir that is connecting the carbon fiber brace to the water reservoir, so we gotta take the screw off. So now that all the bolts have been removed, we'll be able to remove the carbon fiber brace. Now we gotta remove the intake. So you will have your map sensors right here just to get a pick tool, disconnect the connection, put it aside, remove the connection by pressing on the side, get these two connections out of the way. Remove the intake. So now that we removed the intake in the front, we will have access to these two screws here in order to get the cooling line out of the way so we can access all three E12 screws. All right, now that we removed both of these bolts, we have a little bit of wiggle room. That's the only reason why we took everything else off, just to access this particular screw. There will be uh, oil coming out of that thermostat. It's very minimum. However, we want to make sure that we're keeping the engine clean from all oil spills. So therefore, I got some disposable racks that we put down here. Um, first thing first, we we're removing this T30 bolt in order to just drop the lines out of the thermostat. We remove this bolt, which will loosen up the two oil lines, so you just pull them down to get them out of the way. Now we have access to the E12 bolts right here, here, and here. Remove those, again, making sure that not a lot of oil will be dripping into our engine bay. We just got the thermostat off, and um, with the kit, make sure that you order the gasket and O-ring replacements because if you can see here on the OEM one, this gasket needs to be replaced so you don't want to reuse it and having oil or water leaking later on. Um, same with the O-rings. All right, now we installed the two O-rings and the gasket. The gasket is also very easy to install because there's only one way on how it actually can be installed. So now we're placing a new thermostat over it and we will be using or reusing, I must say, the E12 bolts from the OEM one. However, the bolt on top that holds the lines is a longer one, so there will be coming one with the kit. Make sure that you're using the right one. Don't use the OEM one for the top, okay? So now that we're connected to the thermostat, talking down to specs, we are attached both screws again. Now it's time to put the intake back on and put it all back together. All right, guys, 30 minutes later, thermostat is installed. So if you like what you saw, subscribe right here. And I hope I see you next time at HKP Tuning. My name is Phil. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll be walking you through every single step of the way on this SFS. <laughs> Check us out, hkptuning.com slash Turbos.
Actually, I don't even know what the f that is. I don't even. Is that really it? <laughs> a little bit of this. Video. Ah, what we do at HKP tuning. <laughs> and remember, we're fleeing teeth. <laughs>